Welcome to Motion Board Shop. I'm Nathan Blackburn, and I have a few guests with me today. We've got Spencer Smith with Rain Longboards and Trevor Preston with Insect Longboards. And today we're going to be talking about precision trucks, mainly what they do and how they do it. We are going to start off with a quick definition of what makes a precision truck because a lot of people just don't know. All right, so what defines a precision truck is how it's manufactured. Um, a normal truck is a cast truck where they use a mold and pour recycled aluminum into these uh, molds to form the shape of your truck. Whereas a CNC truck is a precision truck where they take a solid block of aluminum, cut it out to the exact specifications with the tightest tolerances and the stronger materials. Um, this also gives you truer axles, which are not seen in regular cast trucks. Usually cast trucks are very sloppy, have a lot of play in the bearings. Um, also, the pivot cups in a cast truck are also very uh, roomy and don't fit the pivot points as exact as you'd like them to be. So, Precision takes care of all these problems. Um, it gives you better traction, gives you better tracking, it's just generally more predictable and just perfect in every way. Uh, so we've got all of our precisions out here today, and we, they all have different strengths and weaknesses to them, um, and all have different feels. So we're just going to go through them all, and uh, yeah, let's do it. So let's start off with like a Smokey. I know, Nate, you're riding those right now on your Evo. Uh, oh. Tell me what you think. Um, I am a fat kid, and I like bear Smokey trucks. These are them. Being fat isn't going to make you like these trucks any more or less, but I feel that these trucks are really burly and durable, so they pretty much hold up to all the weight that my body puts on them. I'm running, I'm just going to go over what my setup is on them right now. I'm running these on a, just a normal Evo deck. I have a white Jim Z in the bottom and a yellow Eliminator in the top. And the reason I'm running it this way is because it's pretty much this exact setup that they come with, but I wanted a little bit more give in the bottom of the plate. The reason for that is just so that the truck would kind of fall a little deeper into the turns. The other th reason I really like these is because they are not in line anymore. The old Smokies used to have an axle just like this over here where the axle went directly through the line of the kingpin. What that does is it gives you a lot more traction but it also gives you a lot lower ride height because the axle is so much closer to the board. The other thing that this truck over here allows you to do is run bigger wheels as well as get more leverage on your trucks. So I like it for that respect because I can ride it on a, a number of boards now instead of just specifically top mount style boards. The reason that these trucks are, I think, a really good step for Bear is because they are making their trucks with all sorts of base plates. They come from 55 all the way down to, I believe, 25, which is really, really, I mean, that's a huge range for a precision truck, as well as they give you a number of things that you can, you know, alter, like the base plates, as well as the hanger width. The other thing that they do is they can, you can take out the actual spherical bearing and put in a a, a pretty much shortened venom bushing and then you can run them as a semi smoky where you would have the precision spherical in the base plate but not one in the hanger. It's just a really good truck all around great. The two types of boards that I would recommend riding this on are like a drop deck Evo style, Demon Seed style, or a drop through like a Hellcat, a Speed Styler, just something like that. They're really, really good trucks, and I would recommend them for anyone who's looking to either downhill on them, or what I've been doing recently, and this is kind of getting a lot of flack from my compadres over here, which is free riding on precision trucks, and that's kind of a no-no because everyone doesn't want to hurt their hangers. I just tossed in a blue eliminator into the top of this, and they feel great. Stand-up slides come really easily and clean, but they still have enough you know, traction and stability that with a blue eliminator in the top of my truck, they'll handle just fine. The one that I actually want to know the most about, and because Trevor called on me first, you have to talk about monkey. What's a monkey? All right, well, let me tell you the monkey is, um, it's gotta be my favorite truck amongst all of these, simply because there's no sphericals in them. Um, I personally like these because they have a really nice center point. When set up with venom barrels and a washer, uh, the bushings sit flat on the hanger, giving you full contact, a really stable center point. Um, that's something that's a huge improvement over something like a cast truck, where your bushing doesn't make full flush contact on the bushing seat, so it ends up having a twitchy middle. I also like this uh, truck because at 42 and a quarter, uh, it's got a great angle. 
look for you know, a combination of leverage and lean. Uh, it gives you great traction. It's also nice because it offers a 10mm axle and an 8mm. I personally am running the 8mm because they're just a little bit lighter and more compatible with more bearings. But for someone who wants to run um, a bigger wheel, a 10mm is also a great option. Uh, they're a very, very, very low truck. As you can see, uh, they, the distance from the pivot point to the board is very, very small. And so that makes it ideal for top mounts. Uh, I'm running it right now on an Insect Ultralight Firefly, and it's just great. It really, <laughs> the most amazing traction I've ever felt. Um, it's also a great board, you know, I've, my friend uh, Tad is running his monkeys on an Evo, uh, so it's really compatible with drop decks as well. Uh, overall, you know, this monkey has to be my favorite so far. It also features adjustable uh, wheel bases. As you can see here, it's got multiple drill patterns, and so on this truck, you know, you can lengthen your wheel base to make it a little more stable, you can shorten it to make it more nimble. Um, it's just really versatile. <laughs> And uh, now our final person here. What does Spencer Smith ride? And what have you ridden amongst all these trucks? Um, among these trucks, the ones I have ridden would be the Jim Z's. 